I have this conduit to my inspiration. I have this focus to my inspiration that I have to follow. That's why I call it conditioning. I'm conditioning myself to do a, a particular thing. And as a result, I'm coming with some ideas that I would never have otherwise. And that leads me to a better knowledge of myself and who I am as a musician. I'm like, yeah, man, you're playing this. Wow. No, that was somewhere in you, somewhere. And now I know it after that. I know, I know it's there. And it will come out eventually later, or maybe not. But I've discovered it. I have unearthed it. And that's what conditioning is about. Unearthing stuff that you didn't know was there, but was, is there inside you as a musician. Another conditioning I, I do very often that could be actually interesting for other instruments than piano is what I call the, exa the exaggerated dynamic and register thing. Because when you play piano, but I'm sure it's the case for many other instruments, you restrict yourself to a very limited dynamic and registered zone. Basically, it's very often like, you know, etc etc and two hours later we're still there with the same kind of dynamic to my opinion there are other things to be done you know if I do this wow that does exist you like it or not but it does exist the possibility right so to explore possibilities that's key word here I like to explore exaggerated dynamic and register thing, which means I'm forcing myself to, to put tons of contrast in my playing. So, of course, it sounds a little bit like somebody really like who needs treatment, you know, and who has a real like psychological issue of some kind, you know, because it's kind of like, but you cannot believe how many ideas I found working like this. Ideas of, you know, using extreme registers. Sometimes I even came with the idea of using some registered completely at odds, like playing loud here and soft on the treble, on the, on the bass. Then the reverse. And, you, and I'm like, yeah, there is something to be done with this. It's another possibility. You know, it's another thing that can be used. So that gives me a whole tank, you know, of material that stays in my brain to pick from when I'm going to be playing. And that makes me surprise myself sometimes when I'm playing gigs because I have something that comes out and I'm like, wow, what, what is that coming out from? And I know practicing like that helps me find those things in the, in the, in the, in the process of playing. So for other instruments, it's of course not doable exactly like this, but using extreme registers and extreme dynamic can be done on pretty much any instrument, apart from the harpsichord maybe, you know? So, uh, of course, you shouldn't push it too much if you're a singer or you don't want to destroy your voice. And if you're a sax player, you don't want to get, you know, uh, you have to be sensible about it. But you're going to realize that there are sounds on your instrument 
that are different from just the medium blah 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 that you use all the time without even knowing why just because and it removes something that's interesting that it removes fear because sometimes you're just scared of trying things if you force yourself and you have to it's like you know you're, you're it's like you have a parachute and somebody pushes you out and you have to jump that pushes you to jump you have no choice <laughs>